Inside the other part, we call them the amazing part of Najul Balawa. Imam Ali alayhi salam start this very beautiful hikmat with this word, Kana li fi ma mada akhun fillah. In past, I had a brother. And our connection, our relationship was based on Allah. Kana li fi ma mada akhun fillah. This relationship, it wasn't because of the money or because of the help or power. Just because of Allah, we had this relationship. We're looking for this qualities. Ali alayhi salam start to show the people what is the quality of this brother of Amir al muminin There's a different explanation about the meaning of Akh here. Some people say, okay, Ali alayhi salam, what is his purpose of Akh here? What is the meaning of brother? Who is this brother Ali alayhi salam talking about? It's a different idea. Some people say, Ali alayhi salam means Usman ibn Mad'un, one of his really great companions and one of the great companions of the Prophet. And if you hear one of the uh, Ali alayhi salam sons, his name was Usman. And some people why ask, they ask why Ali alayhi salam choose the name of his son Usman. And all of the people they believe because of the one of his friends and one of the closest companion of the Prophet and one of the, his closest companion, Usman ibn Mad'un, not Usman ibn Affan, the third Khalifa. That's the reason, because he was a really great person and he has a great personality. Ali alayhi salam chose the name Usman for his son. Some scholars, they believe the means of Akh here is Usman ibn Mad'un. The other idea is it was the means, the meaning of uh, Akh and brother here re refers to Ammar, Ammar Yasser. The third idea is more powerful and you can more trust the third idea is the meaning of Akh here is not a specific person. When Ali alayhi salam said, I had a brother in the past, he's not trying to say really it was a person. He's trying to give a people a role model. An he, he tried to give people an example what kind of person he can be a brother, a close friend to Ali alayhi salam. I think is enough to talk English or no, we continue in English. Yes, salawat khadmifah. Okay. We respect to all of, all of the people that are here. We continue in English, and inshallah, we forgot about Farsi. And alhamdulillah, all of the people, they understand Farsi, they understand English too. Am I right or not? Alhamdulillah. And we try to make a short speech. I don't want to make a long, afatul kalam I don't want to make it too long. It's not good to inshallah to just understand just that short time we're talking about to understand very well what I'm, what I'm trying to say in this speech. Ali alayhi salam start to description of a person he is legitimate and he deserved to be a brother for Ali alayhi salam. وَيُعَذِّمُهُ فِي In a continue of this description Ali alayhi salam said this person he was really has a really high position in my eyes. Means I really respect him. I very respect him very well. Why Ali alayhi salam start to count 14 quality for this person? What is the quality for brother of Ali alayhi salam? كان لي في مضى أخن في الله what is this quality for being a brother of Ali alayhi salam? Before we start to this topic, I just want to continue about the part of the monotheism, about the practical monotheism. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, all of us we believe Allah is one, la ilaha illallah, because that's the entrance of Islam. When a person wants to convert to Islam, the first thing 
he or she should say is saying La ilaha illallah. There is no God but God. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah. Confess the last Prophet and the last Messenger of Allah who was our last and our noble Prophet, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. This is a practical way we believe. The, the theoretical way we believe about the monotheism, Tawheed. But about the practical, that's the problem we have in Islamic community. We are, we are really weak in practical monotheism. In Surah Al-Furqan, verse 43, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, mention what kind of people they don't have a real monotheism, they don't believe in real Tawheed. أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ Allah over there mentioned what is the condition of a Tawheed, a Muwahid, a person who believes in monotheism, a Maniyad. What is the quality for that person? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts to saying the opposite people, they don't believe in God, they don't believe in one God, polytheism. He said, Afara'ayta, you didn't see the people, Manitakhada, they get, they choose, Ilahu, they choose their God. Afara'ayta manitakhada, Ilahu hawa. They choose their God, they choose their willing and their desire as a God. And they are the people we call them mushrik in here. That's the one of the level of shirk here. The people, they choose, they desire, they wills upon God. They care about their desire, what they want, what they care, what they love. They care about that more than God. More than Allah wants, more than Allah's desire. Allah said, This is one of the level of Tawheed. Most of the Muslims they don't have it. The practical Tawheed. All of them in words, in saying, all of them they confess there is no God but a God. In every day, in every namaz, they say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah in adhan and ighamah. But in a real life, in a practical life, they are different. They are reading this verse of Surah Al-Ham, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. O oh Allah, you are the only one I want help from him, and you are the only one I will obey you. You're only the person you can tell me what I should do. But when they come to the real life, they forgot about this verse. They listen to their hawa, their nafs, their desire, their wills. First, what he wants, and after that, come to Allah, what Allah wants. I give a lot of people, example of lots of people in all of the history of Islam. If they were really believe in one God, if they were really muwahid, we, we never have this problem. One of the parts we always hear and proud about Islam is the history, especially the time of the Prophet, the first years of the starting of Islam. The Islam began in Saudi Arabia. We are always proud of that moment and that history, that part of the history of Muslims. We have respect, we have power, we are really good, we teach people what they should do, we teach people what is the real way of living. The time we have rule, we were the ruler of the West and the East. The time not Saudi Arabia, the East, India, Iran, China, 
this waste all of the Europe, they were under the control of Muslims. But all of